Right, so this is a math game that I've made. <coughs> so the way it works is you enter your username, you can enter whatever you like, and if there is no account already created with that username, then it will automatically set up an account for you. But if there is already an account with the username there, it will check your password. So there's no separate login or register. So then it gives you a session ID once you've logged in and it will redirect you to the proper math game. So the session determines who you're logged in as. So you can bookmark the page and then as long as you don't log in again, you'll be able to keep playing the game. So then you start by entering a little number. Uh, for a new account, it'll have to be zero. Like if you put in one, then it'll say the level's not unlocked and the maximum level you have unlocked. So if we just go zero and start the game, it will give you a question and then you enter the answer and press enter. And then the screen turns green if you get the answer correct and red if you get it wrong. And then you've got the timer here, it goes up when you get questions correct, and goes down when you get questions incorrect. Although the first time, it doesn't penalise you at all. And also the more time you have, the less time you gain to stop you from getting the time going way out the other side of the screen. So this is a slightly harder question. They only start appearing after about 15 questions or so. And there are even harder questions called dragons that you'll need if you want to unlock more levels. So there's another elite. So you just keep going, the dragons only spawn after 40 questions or so. So this is a dragon. So it will be even harder than an elite, and if you defeat one of these, then you will get a boss, and the more of them you defeat, the more time you'll have to solve the boss. And if you defeat the boss, then you'll unlock the next level. So there's another dragon, so if I get this one correct too, I get another 10 seconds to solve the boss, which will appear once I run out of time. So you can just keep going and defeating dragons as long as you like if you want more time for the boss. Although the amount of time you lose from getting a question wrong does keep increasing, if you are getting questions wrong, eventually you will run out of time. So again, there's another dragon, it adds another 10 seconds to the time I have to get solve the boss if I get it correct. So there I got a question wrong, so the screen turns red, and this time I wouldn't have lost any time. And the screen goes back to green once you get a question right again. So there's another incorrect question. And there I should have lost some time. And if you were noticing, you should have spotted it. And again, another question, and it's back to normal. So another dragon, same as usual. So you can just keep going as long as you like, as long as you don't run out of time. I think I might just stop at about 4,000. And then deliberately get some questions wrong to speed up the process of running out of time.
because getting questions wrong has no effect on your score, it just causes you to lose time. So now I've reached more than 4096. So if you just put in, so if you want to run out of time quicker, you just put in the wrong answer, say 1. And then you'll notice I've lost time, and more time. And now I've run out of time completely, so a boss shows up. And since I defeated plenty of dragons, I have plenty of time to do it. Just put in the answer, press enter, and it said new level unlocked, which means I got it correct, and I hadn't unlocked the next level before. So if I wanted to unlock level 2, I'd need to play level 1 and get a boss and defeat it. So then you can go to the high scores. And this is the level high score, so it displays the person's name and then the level they're on. It won't display you if you're on level 0, and you can enter a specific level and get the leaderboard for it. So this is the score for the level, which is why it's a lot higher, and then there's someone else. And what you can do is you can go and highlight... a certain user and there's the green there if we go there the green's still there and you can also set the limit mm. say one so then it'll only show one which you will notice if we go and display there it's only showing the number one placing although if we also and a highlight there and display it shows even though it's not in the top one this would allow you to see your ranking even if you are not one of the top 20 which is the default that it will show so that's the math game at the moment.